All right, our next book for the day is Millicent and the Wind, written by Robert Munch, illustrated by Suzanne Duranso. To Alma and Julia, Millicent and the Wind. One morning, when all the world was quiet, Millicent stood on her mountain top and looked at the world. She saw trees and rocks and sunshine and clouds, but no other children. Far away in the valley was where the other children lived. It took three whole days just to walk there. Millicent had no friends. On this morning, someone whispered very softly, Hey, Millicent. Millicent looked all around, but all that she saw were trees and rocks and sunshine and clouds. Then someone whispered louder, Hey, Millicent. This time, Millicent said, There's nothing I see except trees and rocks and sunshine and clouds, and they cannot talk. Who are you? whispered the voice. I am the wind. Oh no, said Millicent. The wind howls and roars and whistles and rustles. It doesn't talk. Then the wind blew Millicent's dress around her legs. It very softly touched her face and hair and said, I am the very wind of all the world. I blow when I wish and talk when I want to. The day is so quiet and the sun shines so yellow that I feel like talking right now. Well, said M Maleficent, or Millicent, I have no friends and lots of time. Can you play tag? Certainly, said the wind. So they played tag, running among the trees and the rocks and the sunshine. Come back, come back tomorrow, said Millicent. And the wind did come back every day. But there was a time when Millicent was not there. She and her mother had gone down over the rocks and into the deep forest. They were walking all the way to the valley to buy the things they needed. So the wind could not play tag that day. It blew all over the world looking for Millicent. But Millicent was walking far at the bottom of a forest, and the wind could not find her. Millicent and her mother walked for three days, and finally came to the valley where people lived. When they walked through the valley, all the children came out of their houses and looked at Millicent. One boy with red hair said to Millicent, Who are you, and where do you come from? She said, My name is Millicent. I live on the mountaintop. I have no friends except the wind. And the red-haired boy said, The wind is nobody's friend. And all the children started to yell, Millicent, Millicent, lives on a mountaintop. Go home, Millicent. Then a strange thing happened. A very large wind came and picked up the red-haired boy right up into the sky and tumbled him around like a leaf until his clothes were all tatters and his hair was a mess. A mess. All the children ran away. Millicent and her mother went to town and bought the things they needed, but Millicent was sorry that the children had run away. It took them three whole days to walk back to the mountain. When they got there, Millicent looked at the trees and the rocks and the clouds and the sunshine and wished that she had somebody to play with besides the wind. Wind, said Mill Millicent, you blow through the hair of every child everywhere in the world. Can you find me someone to play tag with? Boy or girl, said the wind, get me a friend said Millicent. The wind turned into something huge and enormous that rumbled the rocks and bent the trees and whistled off far away until Mill Millicent could not hear it anymore. But in a little while it came back and it carried a boy. 
the wind put him down. Millicent looked at the boy. The boy looked at Millicent. Let's play, said Millicent, and they did. The end.